Greetings, everybody. Welcome to my uh, very messy stained glass lair, as I call it. Uh, the place always looks like a bomb when I finish a project, and I just finished my pansy lamp, so the place looks like a bomb went off in here. Anyhow, um, several people have asked how I do the signature on my lamps, and uh, I'm just going to do a quick little video to show you guys how I do it. I've learned so much from some of these sites, from all of you folks. I am happy to share some of my little tricks. Anyhow, um, first step is I use a single line embosser. Um, I will post the link to my source for this. I believe it was a place called the Stationery Studio. Uh, the first time I made one of these, I didn't know what I was doing. And I just stamped some copper foil, same copper foil, ad adhesive foil that we use wrapping our glass in. I doubled it up a couple times, and when I heated it up to stick it to the lamp, it all just kind of went to pieces. So I got on the internet and I went looking, and I did find from a place called Basic Copper, um, these copper sheets which this is a three inch wide, 10 foot long roll of copper. It is five mil thick. Uh, to give you some reference, uh, the copper foil we typically use is one mil thick. So five times the thickness of our regular copper foil. Uh, but obviously there's no adhesive on it. Here, cameraman show this there. Okay, there's no adhesive on the copper. So what I typically do is I cut off a strip about uh, maybe three quarters of an inch thick. And then we are going to emboss it. So I'm gonna slip this in here, right in between the dots. And I'm kind of the master of overkill here. So I really hold it down for a long time to make sure it gets a really good impression into the copper. And we pull it out, and as you can see, I have the uh, impression of, in my case, it says DJ Lampworks. Tried to think of something clever to call my lamps. That's what I came up with. Uh, okay, next step, and this is important. Uh, again, I learned by trial and error that what we need to do is to fill in the back side of um, the impression of the from the embosser with uh, a little bit of solder. So I am a fan of gel flux. As anybody will know that I uh, may have seen my dragonfly video I did on how to solder wings. But what we'll do is just fill in quickly the the impression there. With a little solder. I'm gonna hold that down. Try not to burn my finger. You gotta be a little careful because this stuff does heat up fast. Okay. So now we've got that. I'm gonna cool this off. Again, I learned by picking these up too quickly. This copper really holds the heat. So so now you can all see that I have filled in the, uh, I basically tinned the back side of this copper. And you can still see my embossing on the outside. So now we are going to trim this down to size. Get a good pair of sharp shears. I kind of like to round my corners. So I just nip those off. And voila, you have your uh, little stamp that you can solder to the inside of your rim of a lamp, frame of a, some sort of panel that you may have done. 
uh, whatever. So for the sake of demonstration, I have made this little two pieces of glass soldered together uh, so I can show you how I tack it on. Again, I'm going to use a little bit of the uh, paste flux, put it on to the onto your solder, and of course onto the tinned backing. Like so. I have a towel hanging over my shoulder. And we're just going to set this down right onto our... Now if this was the, the rim of your lamp. And now we take our soldering iron. I like to make sure that there's absolutely no solder on the tip. So wipe it really well however you like to do it but i'm gonna make sure there's nothing on there so that soldering tip is very very clean and we're just going to touch one end here and literally just put it on top of the copper and we're gonna tack it right to the well, that is tacked on at that end and i'm gonna hold this and we're gonna hold yeah, I take that back. I didn't solder it that well. I'm going to use just a little dab of solder here. There we go. And just a little dab at this end. Boom. Okay. Typically, I try to cut these a little bit narrower, um, but you kind of get the idea here. There we go. Now, if I go around the edges, I'm able to basically get it soldered down around the entire perimeter. And that is basically on there, soldered all the way down. And there you have it, folks. That's how you do it. So if you have any questions, feel free to private message me, and I'm, I'm happy to share more. But I will also include the links as to um, where you get all this stuff. So hope it helps some of you.